One thing that every AC company has to deal with is these disposable recovery tanks. And once we've used all the usable refrigerant out of this tank, all the liquid refrigerant's been used up, we still have a significant amount of vapor only refrigerant. In this case, it's over 100 PSI of vapor. We can't just vent this out in the atmosphere by law. The vapor pressure in this tank is going to be equal to what this suction pressure is. So we're always going to have pressure left over. So what we have to do is recover the refrigerant out of this tank and put it into a recovery tank. Now, nobody likes doing this, but it's just part of the job that we have to do. So typically I'll hold on to these tanks until I'm doing some other recovery process. And when I get done with that recovery process, then I go ahead and take these tanks and hook them up. Some shops throw these in the back of the shop and wait till they have a slow day and then they'll start recovering them that way. This is a great way for you to get started with recovery. Because you're dealing with only vapor, it reduces the risk for injury. So it's a lot safer way to get started. So it's a great way to practice recovering refrigerant out of these old tanks and putting them into your recovery tank. Now on that, every single recovery machine is different and there's lots of different ways of using these machines. Before you use any recovery machine, make sure you search the model number for a PDF instructions of how to operate that machine. Every machine has some little different instructions or little different tricks or different features that make that work better. We're just gonna go through some of the basic operations for this. And this machine requires us to use at least a 12 gauge extension cord. The longer that extension cord is, the thicker the gauge wiring we need because we're gonna have voltage drop coming to this pump. If we have too long and too thin of an extension cord, it's one of the biggest causes to burn out these recovery machines. But ultimately all we need to do is suck the refrigerant out of this tank into the machine, out of the machine and into recovery tank. So it's gonna be called series into, out of, into. So let's get started. For this example, I'm just gonna use automatic low loss fittings and I'm gonna hook the side that normally goes up to my manifold gauge set, I'm gonna hook that up to my tank itself. The side of the low loss fitting, I'm gonna hook up to the inside of my recovery machine. And you can see here we have a filter dryer on this recovery machine. It's typically not needed with these tanks, but since we already have it on, it's just an extra step of protection for a recovery machine. Now we have another hose. This hose, I'm gonna put the low loss fitting on the output or exit of the recovery machine. And the hose that normally hooks for a manifold gauge set, I'm gonna hook that one on the side that says vapor. Physically reading on the tank for the side that says vapor. This connection right here, I'm gonna leave loose. So what we have in these hoses and in the machine is maybe other refrigerant, dirty, nasty, polluted air. So we need to purge the hoses. Some people like to purge each hose individually or some people like to purge them all at once. In this case, we're gonna purge them all at once, which means I wanna take my recovery machine and I'm gonna open up the valve on my suction side. So it's now to the open port, open up the valve on my high side. So now all of this is just simply free flow. Again, the hose is loose here at the tank it's connected tight here, connected tight here, and it's connected tight here. What I'm gonna do is loosen the valve on the tank and allow that low pressure vapor to push through the hose, through the machine, through this hose and leak or purge out of this connection. That's all it took for us to purge it. Now I've tightened this up. Now there's multiple ways of doing this, but I've already opened this valve, so I'm gonna crank it all the way open so there's no restriction. And in this example, both of these valves I'm going to leave open. There's different opinions on what people think is gonna be the best method, but for this method, I'm just gonna leave both of those open. So the only valve that's closed is the valve in my tank. It's very important that we use the HVAC school app to make sure this tank is not gonna be completely full to know that we do not overfill this tank. But now that I have the hose hooked up to this tank, I zeroed out the scale so I know exactly how much refrigerant I'm putting into this tank. So what I'm gonna do is start the machine by powering on the machine and then immediately quickly opening the vapor valve into my tank. Here we go.
Now, if you can see, we've pulled out just about a pound of refrigerant. Even though there was only vapor here, we've pulled out an entire pound of refrigerant. So over 10 of these tanks, that would be 10 pounds of refrigerant. So it is a significant amount of refrigerant over time. Always follow the instructions for your machine, but this machine says to shut the power off first, then we can close off these valves. What I'm gonna do now is unhook my low loss fitting from the unit. And what we still have in this hose is liquid refrigerant. So what I'm gonna do is leave the valve open on my tank and move my tank somewhere where it's up high and allow that liquid refrigerant to drip back into the tank. And again, you wanna make sure you never overfill these recovery tanks. Make sure there's enough room in it first. So by leaving this in the upright position, that liquid will slowly drip back into this tank. It's gonna take a little while, but every little drip of refrigerant that comes back into the tank, a little bit of vapor replace it, and eventually all the liquid will drain out of this hose. Now we have to deal with this hose. This side should be in a vacuum, so it's no big deal. We can just simply take our tank loose. And I can also take my fitting loose from my machine. Dirt and grime and everything else can get hung up inside of these fittings. They get hung up inside of our machine, especially with that little layer of oil on there. So to make sure that we put some kind of valve cap in there to protect it. Once we're done with this, we can move it out of the way as well. Now we've recovered all the refrigerant out of this tank, so it's in a vacuum below atmospheric pressure. So if we open this valve, air would try to come back into the tank, although we have a check valve, so it won't happen. So what we need to do is render this tank useless. So what we're gonna do is pop this little cover off right here. Now to do that, we're gonna make sure that we have us a hammer, that we have us an old screwdriver. We do not wanna use any screwdriver we're gonna be using for the field, any kind of electrical screwdriver, because it will certainly mess up the end. So an old screwdriver works great, and also make sure you're wearing some kind of eye protection. We're just going to place our screwdriver right in that little groove and just tap it with a hammer. And the sound you hear is the air going into the tank. So what I'm going to do is just do it one more time to make sure it's completely knocked loose. What I like to do is completely move that out of the way so that hole in there is completely exposed and this way there's no doubt that this tank's already been recovered and it's safe to go to recycling, thrown away or whatever. So just by that little extra step, now we know we're not wasting anybody else's time. It's done, it's clean, and it's clear. And this is that pressure relief valve. So you see that hole is pre-drilled, this little thicker metal right there, and they put this little thin piece of metal right there in the top. So it's a pop-off valve or pressure relief valve or rupture disc, whichever word you prefer, but that disc will rupture and come loose to allow that pressure to come out in an overpressure situation. But it's just an easy place to pop that open to render the tank useless. And now we can, uh, ready to recycle or throw that away.